Oh, you dear green liquid gem. I love you so much. You know it, right? And you, my lovely cherry liquid deliciousness. I love you too. Don't worry. Oh, you, the backbone of so many people's drinking habits. I couldn't live without you. And you, pretty little thing. Things would not be the same without you in the equation. I love you guys. I love you all. And I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna make a cocktail with equal measures of all of you. Today, guys, we're gonna make the last word. An amazing cocktail with gin, green chartreuse, maraschino liqueur, and lime juice. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry for this little piece of craziness in the intro, but I couldn't help it. And it's also kind of my way to pay tribute to Frank Fogarty, who made the last word popular in the 1920s. He was a very famous vaudeville artist. And even though we can all agree that I should stick to making cocktails and not jumping into the entertainment industry, that's kind of my way to pay tribute to him. So the last word, a famous cocktail, that got forgotten in the 50s and we had to wait until 2004 for Mr. Murray, bartender at the Zigzag Cafe in Seattle, who found and undusted an old cocktail book and found the recipe in it and made it popular back again. And it didn't take long for this cocktail to spread all over the cocktail renaissance, got really famous in New York as well. And nowadays it is kind of the cocktail also known as the bartender's handshake. So if Fernet Branca is the bartender's handshake, shake as a shooter uh, the last word is probably the same thing as the cocktail i love it it just involves so many good ingredients the green chartreuse the marshmallow liquor delicious gin and freshly pressed lime juice it is simply amazing and all that just equal parts which is crazy simple to make so guys if you are ready we're gonna make the cocktail go get your ingredients you know them by now we're gonna need dry gin marshmallow liquor green chartreuse and lime juice. So now to make the cocktail, we're gonna use a cocktail shaker because it's a shaken and drink. And we're gonna start by pouring three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of gin. Same amount of maraschino liqueur. Once again, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of green chartreuse. and three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. So now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. And we're gonna fine strain it into a chilled cocktail coupe. You can serve this cocktail with no garnish, but I like to add just a little cocktail cherry. I think it looks beautiful and it goes really well with the Marsh Kino liqueur. So guys, this is how we make a last word. Now let's give it a try. Mm. Every time I sip on this cocktail, it's just pure pleasure i love this cocktail it's the perfect balance between strength sweetness acidity layers of herbaceousness because of the gin and the green chartreuse and both are playing very well together you get some fruitiness and dry sweetness because of the maraschino nothing is overpowering it's just like it's just perfect it is amazing um by the way, guys, have you noticed something different between this take and the one, the close-up ones? The glass is different. And that's because right now, if everything goes according to plan, within three weeks from now, Sifra and I and Leah, our little doggy, will be in France. So we're packing everything. And I shot this video in two separate days. 
So the glass that I used in the B-roll is already packed. Sephora already packed it. So I had to use a different one today. That gives me an idea. I want to show you how it looks like. So right now, even the set is slightly different. Maybe you notice the coffee machine is gone. Yeah, I'm very sad. Can't wait to buy another one. So we are actually making some changes. Everything is in boxes. Still looks pretty decent from this side of the camera, but come, I'm gonna show you how the living room looks like. All right, so let's go see what the mess looks like. And meanwhile, this is Lea, always sleeping on my running shoes. And here is the entrance of the mess. All right, so welcome into the mess. We've been living like this for weeks now and it's completely crazy. But if everything goes according to plan in three weeks from now, all of this will be in a container on its way to France. So we applied for a one year visa, but the goal is to stay there longer. Uh, we haven't talked about it much yet because of COVID, everything was really unsure, but now we have the feeling that it's gonna happen so we can finally start talking about it. And we are very excited because it's a dream that we've been having for years. So hopefully, fingers crossed, by the uh, end of September, we will be in France. And we're gonna keep you posted because a lot of things will change on the channel, obviously, when we're gonna be there the set will be completely different and we're gonna try to make some content showing you what is the process and what our new life will be but don't worry we will stick to the also to the cocktail content so that's it for me today guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and hit that bell if you want to make sure not to miss those new changes until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers now, let's keep on making boxes with a last word.